everyone, I'm Tammy. I am the creator of the blog and this YouTube channel called Nutmeg Notebook. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we were having a little bit of technical difficulties. We decided to do this impromptu little grocery haul video, but um, we were having trouble with the signal. So we hope that you are seeing me and hearing me. This is where Tom, my husband Tom and I share all about our whole food plant-based lifestyle. So we just got home from Costco and Whole Foods and we thought, hey, maybe we'll just show everybody what we bought today. So we actually did not go grocery shopping last week. It just wasn't working with our schedule and we knew we, that we had to shop early this week because on Friday the 5th, this coming Friday, I am doing a batch cooking boot camp with Chef AJ. And that is gonna be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so normally we grocery shop on Thursday and I batch prep on Friday. But this week, because of the boot camp, I needed to shop today. And I will actually be doing my batch cooking tomorrow so that on Friday's class, I can show you what I batch prepped and Chef AJ is going to do her weekly batch prep in real time. So anyway, in the show notes, if you're interested in signing up for the batch um, cooking boot camp, the information is below in the show notes. So Tom, how do things look on the screen? It looks to me like the, the what's going on in the broadcast is the full screen, like, like on our monitor. It's okay. Just the other window is doing a weird thing. So. Okay. Great, so say hi to everybody. You're on screen now. Oh, okay. Half of you. Half of me. I'll adjust that camera just a minute. <laughs> okay. So, but the main camera is working, uh, so I'm going to switch you over to the main camera for the moment. Okay. So um, if you guys have questions, you can leave those in the comments. Just preface your question with four question marks and end with four question marks. That just helps the questions pop out to Tom, and I'm happy to answer your questions. And then, I know Jesse's here. Do we have other moderators that are on tonight too? No, no, just Jesse right now. Okay, so we didn't tell our moderators that we were going to do this because it was just like, got home and was like, hmm, let's, let's go ahead and go live and show everybody what we bought today. So anyway, Jesse, you did send a message to Tom, but he has his phone hooked up as one of the cameras, so he couldn't answer it. So that's why. So anyway, let's get started. So some of this stuff came from Whole Foods and some of it came from Costco. So we've got a blend of things going on here, but I'll tell you what's what and where we bought it. How about that, if we do that? So of course, bananas. If you are Whole Food plant-based, you probably have bananas at your house that are in varying stages of ripeness. So these are the ones that we just bought and we buy these at Costco and they are organic. Sometimes they're all green, sometimes they're all ripe. Today we got lucky because they had some that were green and some that were ripe. And then of course we already have some bananas um, left over from our last purchase that are very ripe that will go into freezer bags to become either quinoa banana oat muffins or to be um, used in um, banana nice cream. So we always do buy bananas. And of course we didn't go shopping last week, so, um, but we had lots of bananas on hand because Tom eats one every day in his breakfast. So we got those, what else did we get for fruit? So then also at Costco, uh, they had some organic blackberries and I've been buying these for a few weeks and they've been really good. So those are delicious. The strawberries are organic and I actually got these at Whole Foods and look at how beautifully red and ripe they are, you guys. So very excited to have those. The last little container of uh, strawberries that I bought were also very good. And I think, let's see, where are these from? These are from Mexico. So that makes sense, right? Okay, that they would have ripe ones. Then also at Costco, we got our um, little baby portabella mushrooms. These are so delicious. We love these, use those in a lot of things. 
Then also we picked up some of Mary's Gone Crackers. And you know, this is more of a processed item, but when our kids and our grandkids come over, they do like these. Um, they're brown rice, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, poppy seeds, onion, garlic, and they do have a little bit of sea salt in them. Well, actually a lot. It's 280 milligrams in 12 crackers. So sometimes I will have a couple of these, but I'm just as happy with making my own tortilla chips if I want a cracker that's uh, crunchy. And so we did buy tortilla tortillas here too. So these I get at Whole Foods, but we also, this is the, the um, Mi Rancho, but we also buy the Big Brother ones at Costco where you get the really big bag of them. But these are really thick and to me they don't make that great of chips, but Tom loves them. And so he turns those into chips. And I, and we do that in the air fryer. I'll put these in the air fryer as well. I'll either cut them into strips to have little um, corn tortilla strips on top of my salads, or I'll cut them into um, triangles and make chips out of them, or I'll leave them whole so that I have nice little tostada shells without any um, oil, I might add. Okay, then beverages. Some organic unsweetened soy milk and two ingredients, water and organic soybeans. So no fillers, no nothing. So this is really great. Our grandkids like to drink this. And if I wanna make something a little bit richer, then I will use the soy milk in it as well. So it works great. Then the unsweetened almond milk, Tom uses this in his morning um, cereal. And this does. This is not, I will tell you, this is not the best um, one on the market to get. Um, but he, he likes it. So it's not the worst, but it does have some sodium in it and some things that I can't pronounce. So there you go. And let's see, my little cheat sheet fell. Let me get that back up here. And then he likes this spin drift. Oh, and we bought three of these too, you guys. I'm actually going to put these in the fridge so that they um, aren't out. And... I'm just going to put that one here. We actually store the extra ones in our garage fridge. Then he likes this spin drift. Um, usually our Costco has it by the case, but they didn't today. So we just picked up some at Whole Foods. And this was a flavor that he's never had before. It's blackberry. So this says carbonated water, blackberry juice, lemon juice, and some blackberry puree is what's in this. And so he has this instead of a soda because he really likes to have a carbonated beverage. And then this is PG Tips uh, Tea. And so this is a product from England. And I actually discovered this, oh my gosh, years and years ago when I went to England with my mom. And that must have been about like 1986, Tom. Do you remember when I went to England with mom? Well, anyway, my mom was a travel agent and we were able to go to England for a hundred dollar flight each. I mean, it was just incredible. And we were there for a couple of weeks. We had the best time. And I discovered this tea while we were there and we're able to get it here in the States. And it's really good. This is not decaf. I don't drink it. They do have a decaf, but he has a little bit of caffeine. Then also at Whole Foods, we got the diced, no salt added tomatoes. Um, this is the 365 brand, which is the um, store brand for Whole Foods and the fire roasted um, organic Muir Glen are still not available. They still can't get them. And then a little bit of organic lime juice um, just to keep in the pantry. You know, sometimes when you buy fresh limes and they don't have very much juice in them. So I always like to have a backup with the jarred organic just in case my fresh limes don't produce enough juice. Then this is the Frontera Classic Seasoning Chipotle Pepper Adobo. And I'm hoping I say that right. And it's just, it's chipotle pepper, filtered water, roasted tomato, onion, garlic, organic distilled vinegar, evaporated, has a little bit of cane sugar, a little bit of tomato paste, and a little bit of salt in it. So it has 25 milligrams 
of sodium in a teaspoon. Uh, but, you know, I just use a little bit of it as a flavoring in some things. So, you know, if I'm making a whole pot of something and I use a tablespoon of this, uh, I don't think that that's too killer. So I do use some products, um, sauces and condiments and things that do have some sodium in them. But I don't add salt um, when I'm cooking and we don't add salt at the table when we're eating either. So I'm not completely salt free. I would say I am low sodium. Then I also got organic red lentils because they had them. Our Whole Foods hasn't had these in a really long time. And I don't know why, but red lentils have been hard to come by. Then I love these. These, um, oh, I always forget what they're called, the Sumo Citrus. These are delightful. These are like the best oranges that I've ever had. And so they just have a short season, which is going on right now. So I do like to um, have those. And those are a really big treat. And I usually end up sharing them with the grandkids um, because they like them too. And then a red cabbage. Can they see the red cabbage? Then a, um, yeah, you're, a, you're, yeah you're, you've got it. Do you okay. have any frozen stuff you need me to put away that you're done with? Just two things that I haven't pulled out yet in here. I'll grab oh, them in okay. just a minute. Uh, and then a big red cabbage. This is going to go in our salads. I, and by the way, you guys, I batch prep our salads, and I will be showing that on Friday. Then some organic romaine hearts. And they didn't have the little ones that we usually buy at Costco. Also, we shopped in the at late afternoon. Usually, we go in the morning. We usually get there at 9 o'clock because our Costco is open from nine to 10 for senior citizens. And yes, we do qualify for senior citizens. <laughs> and um, we were amazed when we went this afternoon, they were out of so many things. There were so many empty boxes and empty pallets. So anyway, we didn't get our preferred romaine, but this is gonna work just fine. It'll be great. So we got that at um, Costco. We got our red onions. These are organic red onions, and we buy these at Whole Foods. And then tomatoes. They did not have little tomatoes at Costco today. Usually ours has organic tomatoes, so we had to buy these at Whole Foods. And of course, it's more expensive at Whole Foods, but we didn't want to take the time to go to Trader Joe's. Uh, you have to stand in line to wait to get into Trader Joe's because they moderate how many people are allowed in the store at a time. And um, so sometimes you have to wait for like a half hour just to get in the store. Sorry, this makes noise, but this is some organic asparagus and I haven't had asparagus in a while. So this sounded really good. The last time I bought asparagus, I forgot about it. It was in the fridge. And I found it and I thought, oh my gosh, I need to use it up before it goes bad. And so I made a cream of asparagus soup. I just took like a cream of broccoli soup recipe of Chef AJ's and substituted the asparagus for the broccoli and it turned out really great. Okay, then... I got the very last tub of baby kale at Whole Foods. That was the last one. Yeah. Now we're on camera A, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I've been talking into the other oh, camera. Oh, just for a little bit. Oh, okay. I was going to... You were going to tell me? Take credit for getting the last box of baby kale. <laughs> okay. So we like to put that in our that's salads be worth some as points, well. right? I got the last box of baby kale. And that's the problem with shopping later in the day is they are out of things because the people who are um, using the, uh, the uh, what's it called, when you have them do their shopping for you. I just lost it. But bag, anyway. Bag, bag and grab. Um, la, 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 la. Grab. Uh, I don't remember. It's not Grubhub because that's, that's for the, food. That's the that's restaurant. Food. Well, anyway, they are in the stores early in the morning here at least um, fulfilling orders. So at Costco, we got the spinach and um, baby spinach. And I like to buy those because they are pre-washed and um, that makes them just super easy to use and put together for salads. Then celery, I've been, am I, which camera am I on? Still I'm, on I'm, that one? I'm just checking. Um, I'm going to bring you back to camera one. Okay. So uh, they have go. organic celery at Costco, and it's already trimmed. And so I've been juicing 
celery, making celery juice every morning to help In, with inflammation. Instacart. Jesse says Instacart. Instacart. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You can tell I'm. It's later in the day. I'm tired and I'm hungry, and my my brain must be low on glucose glucose because I'm having trouble thinking of what I want to say. So anyway, I'm making um, juice out of the celery every day in our Champion juicer, and um, so I got enough that. You know, I can do that every day and then have a bag left over for Tom. And then organic broccoli as well, this giant bag. And people always ask, how many people are you feeding? We're feeding two people. Only two people live here. But this is what we eat, you guys. And, um, and then we do share some food, like, you know, our lunches, when we take things to the, over to our grandkids' house, they always want our food because, you know, our food yeah. is so tasty. Uh -huh. And they're plant-based too. Uh -huh. but How many pounds of vegetables do you think go into my, my, my vegetables stew at lunchtime? I mean, that's got to be a pound and a half, two pounds. Two pounds, probably, at and least. And then the salad, yeah, I don't add all the stuff in my evening salad that you do, so that's probably a pound and, well, if I count the rice and beans. Oh, that, your salad weighs a couple pounds for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely yeah. for sure. Okay, I'm going to come over here and talk about this stuff. Okay. Okay, so. Sure. Hi. <laughs> you, hey, I'm taller than you. Fancy meeting you here. When you sit down, I'm taller than you. That's a cool thing. Okay, so does that feel weird? Yes. Yeah. A <laughs> um, couple bunches of the green onions, which I does love it make these. make you feel like you're in charge? Yeah, I am in charge. do not make me feel like it. I am in charge. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. We don't want to do... Oh, I don't want to... I have control you. of the buttons over here. <laughs> I can <laughs> shut you down in a heartbeat. You can. Um, so green onions, they didn't have any out, so I had to ask. And, you know, at the stores, when you don't see something, always ask because... Um, they can always go in the back room and look for you. And nine times out of ten, they usually have in the back room you what I go need. in the back room and look for some of these? They did. They did. Okay. You don't need to. No. Uh, he's punchy too, you guys. Uh, some jalapenos, some organic ones. Uh, the mini sweet peppers we got for free because when the cashier went to ring them up, they were not in the system. And so and these were like $4.99 there. I know they're a lot cheaper at uh, Trader Joe's, but like I said, we weren't going to Trader Joe's today. She was on the today. phone with the produce department before we got our cart loaded. She was. She was scolding them. Yeah. That's because she's a manager. Oh. She's a manager. Okay. So some fresh uh, cilantro as well. It's getting away from you. It is. It's falling apart. Uh, some baby uh, arugula, which we love the peppery taste of that. And when I picked that. this out, the ones in front had a date of the 10th, and I found this one bag in back with the date of the 12th on it. So it always pays to peek back a couple of packages and, and get the most recent And date. while I'm thinking of it, some frozen organic peas and some frozen mixed vegetables as well. And those were from Whole Foods. I, I like the smaller packets from Whole Foods. Did you do your so, carrots? So um, shredded carrots, I like to buy those already done. Time saver, and then a couple of bags of broccoli slaw to go in the salad. To go Batch in salads. salads. So those are all good. And then uh, here we have Yukon Gold potatoes. I don't know. We have we bought that's nine pounds. Nine pounds of them. Then here we have. Uh, my favorite Japanese sweet potatoes. These are a couple of stokes over we here. We bought quite a few more than usual this week because their shapes were so good. The, yes. The, 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 um, the quality is always good, but the, the right size for us is very variable. So, so we loaded up on a lot of nicely sized potatoes this week. Oh, I wanted to show them. So this is a Japanese sweet potato. This is a stoke. So the Japanese sweet potato is kind of reddish purple on the outside, but the inside is kind of a creamy color. The stokes are purple on the outside, and they're purple on the inside. And they're just the usually inside. dirtier and nastier. Looking. They are. They are. That's true. And then, and so, and these have the label on them that says stokes. And then these. Can you reach those on right? Just barely. These are Hannah yams. And so they are just tan on the outside, and then they are kind of cream-colored on the inside. These Hannahs are not as sweet 
as the Japanese sweet potatoes. Um, these are kind of a cross between a JSP and like a Yukon Gold, I would say. Uh, but sometimes the JSPs can almost be too sweet for me. And the same with the Stokes. Sometimes the Stokes are too sweet as well. But Tom had one in his lunch today and the grandkids went crazy for went it. crazy and ate it all. I don't know if it's the purple color. I don't know if it's, it's because, because it's, it's on your plate. Because it's out of my lunch bag. Oh, will you show them that? I say big. These were actually. I grabbed this one because this is. These are just the right size. Sometimes get them on. You've got to get on screen. Uh, sometimes onions are too big. Sometimes they're too small. These are just right. It felt <laughs> like the three bears on the onions today. Yeah. So we actually do store our potatoes in a, a very old refrigerator that we have out in Tom's out shop. In, out in the shed. So we have to go out to the shed to get the potatoes. Well, it's not just a shed. It's a shop. <laughs> It has electricity, it has a refrigerator in it. Doesn't, yeah, it has a refrigerator. There's, there's no plumbing. There's no plumbing, so you can't live you there. You couldn't send me out there to live there. <laughs> there's no plumbing. But we do store them, um, the potatoes, in that refrigerator in baskets uh, because it just keeps them from developing eyes and it keeps them from um, going bad. And we bad. keep that warmer than a re regular refrigerator it's more root mm -hmm. cellar temperature i've yeah. got it like barely turned on the refrigerator right but it just works and we just started doing that when the pandemic hit because being able to buy potatoes here because we were was hoarding, hit and miss were we hoarding potatoes well sometimes we would go and they wouldn't have they any. would be wiped out yeah, yeah they wouldn't have so any we bought what we could when we could so when we could get them we would just buy a couple bags that way if the next week if we went um and we couldn't yeah. get any it wouldn't be a problem because we would have. So yeah. um, I think I showed everything. So I do, what? I do have a screen here to show everybody what you're doing with some oh, of this food. Oh, great, great. So, um, I, so that is. I can put that up So here. on it for the boot camp, I'll be doing my batch cooking tomorrow. And then on Friday, oh, I will be presenting from 10 to 2. Did you already talk about the boot camp? Did Just they a little bit. Oh, OK. Um, it's Friday, this Friday, from 10 a.m. Pacific time to 2 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm doing it with Chef AJ, and it's being hosted by Justin from Holistic Holiday at Home, which is also um, the company that puts on the Holistic Holiday at Sea Vegan Cruise um, that we did get to go mm -hmm. on last year, about this time, actually. It was yeah. about this time last year. Camera one so, again. I do have the link in the... In the in the show notes. If you cannot watch it in real time, no worries. It is going to be recorded and you get actually lifetime access to the recording. So I'm presenting from 10 to 12 and I am going to be going over what is batch cooking, how to do batch cooking, essential cooking equipment. I got to look at my list. Um, basic pantry items, how to have an organized kitchen, storage containers for the fridge and the freezer and um, hopefully lots of tips and then at the end i'm also going to show you uh, how i do my batch prepping of my salads and i will show you what i batch prep tomorrow and what that looks like and i don't do it all in one day i actually split it up now and do it over yeah ours is not a cooking demo it's it's why what how logistics process strategy um preparing for success mm -hmm. having a plan and the salad demonstration chef aj is going to be actually do the chopping and the dicing and the stirring and the blending on her part yeah so, so she will go from noon to two and she's going to actually do her batch prepping um, her real batch prepping for the week and show you what she does Although I don't think she normally does hers all in one day anymore yeah. either. We're just too busy. Um, so I break it up over two or oh. three days, depending on what our schedule's like. Yeah, TS is here and has a question. Yes. So anyway, so that's what's going on Friday. So um, if you can join us, join if you us can. Too. Okay, TS says, after cooking, can the JSPs be frozen? I end up baking too many and I can't eat them all. Yes, you can. I actually have some in the freezer right now as well. and. Um, yeah, go ahead and, and freeze them. Does the and texture change when they come out? Does it get watery? Like the like the garnets, the garnets get, the garnets get really watery. Yeah, but I just, I usually, 
end up using them like for some kind of a recipe when they when I do that so I'm not sure how it'll be um, when you thaw it out if you just want to just like eat it plain but I mean they're so delicious how how could you go wrong so so I do freeze the Hannah's the um, the Japanese or the regular garnets if I've made too much then I will go ahead and freeze those but I, I'm usually using them in some kind of a recipe then but I, I would still eat it I would thaw it out and just eat it um, because they're super delicious so you can you know a lot of things that you um, buy uh, we have a video t showing you how not to waste things um, I can't remember what the name of that video is. If you Google nutmeg notebook waste food, <laughs> it'll come up. Um, Probably. Or if you do a YouTube search, it will for sure come yeah. up. Yeah, um, but we did, we did a video yeah. all about yeah. that. The ladies you're talking about crock potting the potatoes versus baking them, and you're an avid baker of all potatoes and never the crock pot. No, but you can do the Unless crock you're doing pot. the garlic the crock mashed pot, potatoes. The crock pot is a dry way to do them as Not, well. Did I say crock pot? Some people do them in the crock yeah, pot. Yeah, JL said crock pot. I'm saying the right thing. I was thinking, yeah. my head was thinking brush pressure cooker while my mouth was saying crock pot. No, um, some people, here I'm going to set this down because I feel like it's in my, I feel like it's in my face. Uh, some people I know, um, Nancy Norby um, from Plant Based Chico, I think she makes hers a lot of times in, in a crock, crock pot. pot. Yeah. So a lot of people do. And it's just, you know, my personal preference is the uh, oven. We use, we have a regular um, built-in convection oven back over here. And because it's a convection oven, it has three racks in it. So I can do three trays of food at the same time. So I usually do a tray of Yukon Golds, a tray of Hannah's in Japanese, and some of the Stokes sometimes a couple of the garnets um, and I can do them all at the same time and I like how they get a little bit crispy on the outside but are really nice and soft on the inside so it's just personal preference a lot of people cook them in their instant pots as well and they like that so I'm not as fond of doing that it seems like they crack open a lot when mm -hmm. I've tried that I've never tried the sweet potatoes in it but I've done the Yukon Gold potatoes when we've been traveling so but it's pers personal preference there's no right or wrong way you guys it's just whatever you prefer and okay. that's great um, Jillian is asking how much how much sweet potato do you eat at a time it all depends like um, usually for my lunch I you know have uh, one like this on my salad so I'll either turn it into croutons or I'll just cut it in half and score it and I will air fry it and you know it's usually something around this size or it could be a little bit bigger if it's really if for a while there we were getting really small ones I don't see a Do real we, did, we don't have any real small ones in we this don't have batch. Any, so if it's a real small one I'll take and a two of them in the fridge because mm -mm, no. because that's my starch so I'll do yeah, I take two, have two for lunch if they're little, or if those are all big enough. I would just take you one would take of those. one of these, that one, right? Yeah, that one, yeah. And that what one's about special. this? Would you just take one of these? Just one. Yeah, I couldn't. Unless, eat. well, you have to take two because so, you have to share. To me, one. those are so filling. So yeah, they are okay. really filling. And um, and for, for these, you know, for these, I I weighed them one time just so I could tell Tom um, if I'm not home, but I want him to start some. Um, air frying some potatoes for me. I just weighed ounces. them and I like about 12 ounces, somewhere between 8 and 12 ounces. And the only reason I know that is I needed to, you know, have a quantity to be able to yeah. tell him so he would like know how much to yeah. give me. Uh, Becca has a question that yeah. I'm going to take a stab out here is weight loss, is weight, for weight loss, is steaming preferred over baking sweet potatoes? Um, the the science on that is if you eat one steamed potato and then you and the, or you eat one baked potato then you're, you're getting the same calorie content the same sugar content the same fiber the only thing you're losing in the baking is you're losing water if you take that baked potato and put it in the air fryer 
and air fried again, which really, you know, now you're getting into dessert land with caramelized uh, sweet potato, but the same, uh, the same premise is going to hold, you're still only eating one potato with a fixed amount of, of sugars and carbohydrate and fiber. Now, if you shrink those down in, in the air fryer and now eat more than one, now you're up on your calorie, you're up on your carb intake. So count the number of potatoes you're eating, not how you cook them. And that's my answer. That was good because it increases the calorie density. When, when, you, you, when, when you, you have dry carbohydrates, yeah. which that's what uh, Dr. Doug Lyle calls them, when you eat dry carbohydrates, even though these are good complex carbohydrates, when they're dry, then you have a higher calorie density than wet. And what would wet ones be? The wet ones would be like wet grains because we take the dried grains and we cook them in a liquid and so then they swell up and get bigger and that helps reduce their calorie density. So um, what you want to do is just eat the same amount. So if I'm going to air fry one of my, here. okay, if I'm going to air fry my Japanese sweet potato that I've already pre-baked and put in the refrigerator, then I air fry the same amount that I would have if I was just eating it not air fried, if that makes sense. And the same thing with the potatoes because I love the ponachos. And so if I want to air fry the potatoes, then I just have the same amount that I would have if I was just putting these on a plate and having them. And so that's where, you know, you, otherwise you can get in trouble. And the other thing that you can do to help um, prevent you from overeating on the starch is to sequence what you're eating. We have a video all about sequencing and calorie density. And so what that means is you always start your meal with the lowest calorie density thing that you have made. And that would be non-starchy vegetables because those are about 100 calories a pound. And so you would want to start with the non-starchy vegetables first. So if you made a salad or maybe you just have like a veggie and broth soup, then you would start with that first because it's full of water and fiber and it will help take up room and create bulk in your stomach and that will help to um, trigger the, um, oh I forgot, just the receptors in your stomach that help tell you, tell your brain that you're full. And that way you'll eat less of the starch. If you start with the delicious starch first, it's a higher calorie density food and you'll eat more of the high calorie density food than you would have if you had started with the non-starchy vegetables first. So watch that video too. It's called Sequencing Using Calorie Density. And it teaches you the principles that I learned from Chef AJ's weight loss program that finally made sense to me and I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't somebody tell me that 40 years ago? Now I know about calorie density. I know how to choose the right foods to eat and it makes a world of difference if you're trying to lose weight and if you're trying to maintain your weight because you got to eat the same way to maintain your weight as you did to lose your weight. Yes. Is there another question? Uh, a discussion, folks, you're talking about yeah. uh, skins off versus skins on, on potatoes. We definitely vote for leaving the skins on anything and everything we, we can. What's that saying? If it's thin, leave it in. And if it's thick, um, take it out. If Something it, like that. If it's that. thin, leave it in. Um, so yeah, all of these potatoes, we would scrub, so we them, buy scrub organic. them thoroughly. And we only eat organic potatoes. We always buy the organic potatoes and we scrub them really good. I have a vegetable brush and we scrub them really good and um, before we cook them and then we eat the skin. There's a lot of fiber and a lot of nutrients in the skin. The only time that um, there's a couple of things that I make. One is um, if, if I'm making my garlic mashed potatoes and, and our daughter's going to be eating them, she does not like the skin, even the Yukon gold skin. Um, she doesn't like the skin left on mashed potatoes. And so then I will peel these. And then also for my 
hearty lentil vegetable stew, I peel them for that because the skins tend to fall off in that soup and then it just makes the soup look not so nice. Jesse's saying she's just using the pot scrubber because her potato brushes kept wearing out. We've had- Oh, that's a good idea. Had, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. I forgot which camera we were on. So we have good luck with this OXO one. Yeah. You know, and it's pretty stiff. So it- It, it, can, it gets the dirt. It, you, you can't really, you have to be pretty light on these, on these golds, but you can really scrub in on these filthy uh, stokes and, and feel like you're not gonna get too much <laughs> grit in your teeth. Uh, so yeah, OXO, this little green guy, I don't know if that's- It works really good. I think and then the other one that- probably on our webpage. That old one that we have, we've had since we got married. That yellow and green one, that- That plastic thing? Yeah, we've had that since we got married. Wow. Since 1979. So thorny things can really last. <laughs> I guess if that's how you want to put it. Okay. Oh, that's funny. All right. Well, how are we doing? I don't think there's any more questions. Okay. Um, Nobody has any more questions for us? Oh, Elizabeth says that her OXO has been wearing down. Let's well, go. this one I've only had for a year or so, I uh -huh. think. Because I was using this, this one, I swear, if, like, I bought, when we first got married, I bought a lot of things the little grocery store that we shopped at in Iowa, because we were living in mm -hmm. Iowa then, um, they had their dollar days, and so they had all this kitchen stuff that you could buy for a dollar. And we still have the little steamer that I bought, the folding down uh -huh. steamer. We still have that. I bought that for a dollar. And I bought that, vet, that one vegetable brush for a dollar. And here we are all these years wow, later. Wow, that steamer basket, I think, is like $12 on Amazon now. So. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, you should have bought a 1,000 of them. We, <laughs> we would be rich now. We could have made a, a steamer basket investment. Well, my crystal ball at the time wasn't working, honey, so I didn't know that that's what I needed okay. to do. Oh, Randy showed up. Hey, she's going to bed. Good night, Randy. Goodbye, Randy. Thanks for checking in. That's so, yeah, fun. it's late back there. So it's getting late here too. It is getting late here okay, too. So, and I'm hungry. So yeah. So anyway, we got we got this going on here. So don't forget that. That's my plug, and then I'll get off of that. And what we'll, else you got? And we'll and then we'll go ahead and, and Oh, and I wanted to show I don't know if you guys got your health we science. We finally did. Our health science magazine finally here, let me put you on camera. Here. Finally came yesterday. Main camera. I'm on the main? Okay. So, um, gosh, where is my story? I haven't even gotten to read it yet. But um, here I am in Health Science Magazine. This is my story, my testimonial in the uh, winter issue of Health Science Magazine. So this is a magazine that's put out by the National Health Association. So uh, a yearly subscription costs $35 and the magazine comes out quarterly. And in this issue, Chef AJ did the recipes for this. So I had mentioned that I had made the cauliflower bisque soup the other day. Well, the recipe is in this magazine because people were like, well, where's that recipe? Guess what? It's in this magazine. So anyway, when you subscribe to it, you get access to all of the previous issues. There's like years and years and years of magazines online that you can look at and there's recipes and testimonials. It's the only whole food plant-based magazine that has no ads in it. Uh, there's a wonderful interview in here uh, by Dr. Uh, Goldhammer was interviewed and that's all in here and um, discussion about your the autoimmune system, um, somebody, what they learned at True North Health Center. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful information. Here's Chef AJ's recipes. So, and I had, I did the recipe spread for the fall issue. So if you want to um, subscribe to this, you can request a hard copy of the um, winter uh, mm. issue if you want. Um, they will mm -hmm. be happy to send that to you. Here, um, and also, Tammy missed the back page. Uh, we've got, we're almost to the back page. Uh, Brittany, hi Brittany. Brittany has oh, popped Brittany's in to say hi. On. Brittany's right here, and Chef AJ's here. Dylan is here, and Miss Tammy is here. So, All of our friends. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, that's that was a fun page to see there too. 
Yes. So, so they um, do have a conference in June. If you want to check the information out for that, we are going to be there. And Dylan and Brittany and myself, we are all going to be um, doing some kind of cooking presentation at that. So that mm -hmm. should be fun. I have another question. And okay, and um, they are planning an Alaskan cruise for 2022 and we have signed up from for that and this morning we were talking to the travel agent and it she said they had four um, uh, cabins left for the um, National Health As Association we were people. another interest interested party to her so yes yeah. so so anyway if you're interested in going to Alaska on a cruise and the cruise line is going to provide us all with delicious whole food plant-based meals that are SOS free so um, that's pretty exciting and it's a small cruise ship that can actually pull into uh, smaller ports and so we'll get to see things that the bigger ships don't get to go to uh, what else there was a question um, from TS thoughts on using stevia in tea yeah so um, if you're what Chef AJ and Dr. Goldhammer say is if you're actually using the leaf, then go ahead and go for it. But if you're using the powder or the drops, it's been highly processed and it's um, extremely sweet for, you know, because it has been highly processed. It messes with your brain and, and it messes with your insulin response because mm -hmm. your brain's thinking it's getting something sweet, but your blood is actually not getting sugar. And so who knows what's going on biologically with that. I'm not a doctor or a biochemist, but yeah, the doctors recommend, uh, we actually threw out quite a few bottles of stevia um, a while, quite a yeah, while and back. And it seems like people start with a certain amount and then they have to keep ramping up and um, using more of it to get the, the mm. same um, sweet yeah. factor. And so... Um, so we can't give you permission to use that, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so it's better to get used to not having the sweet or, you know, try to use something um, that isn't so highly processed is is what the doctors yeah, say. But yeah. then I'm not a doctor. Yeah, Jesse's saying here it confuses the body because it gears you up to digest sugar that's not there. Yeah, and so, so. then you your body releases insulin, but then the insulin doesn't have anything to work on. And so I heard one doctor say that, you know, it makes your... your brain go crazy because yeah. your brain says well we yeah. we detected something sweet but but we don't we're not finding any glucose so you know what are we going to do with all yeah. this insulin the cruise there's a question when the cruise is it's not until 2022 august of late, 2022 yeah, yeah, yeah late late summer august 2022 so we're of course crossing our fingers that um, so you can go, get handled you by can go to the um, National Health Association Facebook page and they have posted some information about the cruise there. on there. Yeah. So yeah, um, we don't have they direct did, information to it. Go there. Yeah. So um, they did say this morning when we were talking to them, they did say that they thought that the, that it would be sold out by Friday. So So if you're interested, get right on that because they had such an immediate positive response. I think everybody's just like, oh my gosh, to be able to travel someplace, you know, in a, um, a year and a half. And not have to worry about SOS free food. Would be so. wonderful, yeah. Okay, miss. Anything else? Um, I think we're caught up. Okay, are you making dinner? Um, I'm gonna chop a salad. That's probably what I'm going to have too because I didn't no, have my don't salad. Don't we have two salads yeah, left over from I didn't last week? Yeah, I didn't have my salad for lunch today, okay. so I need to have my salad too. So maybe we'll do Mexican chopped salads. Okay. That sounds good. All right. And we All have right. a video on that too and a blog post on the Mexican chopped okay. salad. So you know what? Thank you guys so much for um, joining us and, and listening to us. And Jesse, thank you for showing up. And um, what else? Uh, da, 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 Maybe da. see you Friday. Uh, I've yeah. got links down in there too for the Truth About Weight Loss series. Did you oh, ever yes, talk about no, that? Please. In the show notes, Tammy is doing on February 21st the finale, the last day 
uh, if you go to their site through my link, you'll see that Tammy and Chef AJ are, are um, on the, the, the end of the list. So she's closing the show with Chef it's AJ for It's the best that. interview that I ever did. There was just something kind of magical that happened. Because um, you were just having a conversation. Because I was just, yeah, I was just like having a conversation with AJ and um, we were just relaxed and just... Um, I don't know. It was just, a, wasn't it just like, it was like, a, it was just a, the whole mood of it was just remarkable. So um, I made myself cry when we watched It's good those. when she's in a good mood. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's good when she's in a good mood? What do you mean by that? <laughs> um, so anyway, that's the Weight Loss Summit and Chef AJ interviewed uh, 40 uh, experts about weight loss. Uh, some people that we know, and there will be a bunch of new experts that I've never heard of before, so I'm very excited to hear what they have to say. And it's put on by Better Life Summits with Toby from Better Life Summits. And it's an excellent program, you guys. And you can sign up for it for free. And even though we know a lot about how to eat and we know a lot about weight loss and how to maintain it, we always learn something new. You know, there's always some little nugget that somebody shares that you go, oh my gosh, yeah, that makes sense, you know? Mm. How come I never knew that before? So, um, so it's very worthwhile. And I think it's nine days of interviews. It starts on the 14th and goes through the 21st. Uh, first, yeah. yeah. So, um, so anyway, sign up for that and catch what you can. I think each uh, speaker series is available for 24 hours. So you have 24 hours. Yeah. If you can't watch, if you're working and you can't watch during the day, then you can get caught up in the evening and watch the interviews in the evening. And then I think the next day when they start interviews again, then those, then fall, off. those fall off. Okay. So, and I'm on the last day and I'm um, telling my story my weight loss journey story, as well as doing a cooking demo. So, so I it was kind of in three parts. Like I did You're a little bit. You're making three kinds of deliciousness. Yeah. Well, I talked about my weight loss what. journey. I won't say what. No, but. don't say what. I talked about my weight loss journey. Then I did a cooking demo, but it went really fast, so we had extra time, and so then. Oh, so you had an after party. I, we had an after party, and that's when things just like really flowed. Okay. You know, All that's right. when that things really that. flowed. So that okay. it explains how that... Went. Okay, JL says, I signed up, but I forgot the start date of the summit. It starts on the 14th. You'll get an email. Yeah. He will send out an email um, all about it's, you know, going to start tomorrow and that kind of thing. You'll get an you'll get email reminders. Okay. And you'll sh you should get e email reminder every day okay. of the summit once you've signed up for All it. the links are in the show notes. we got to sign off. We do. We're hungry, and we got to put all this stuff away now, you guys. So uh, that's you know, I no, don't if, mind. If a bunch of you came and just put away <laughs> one thing, it would be done like that. It would. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. It would. Okay. Oh well, that's not going to happen. All right. I'm Tom. And I'm Tammy. And we help you. <laughs> I forgot Get, that's my part. Yeah. If I started, I got to do the middle. You do. Okay. I, and, I need a redo. Okay. I'm Tom. And I'm Tammy. And we help you. Get, Get healthy and stay healthy. healthy. One, One meal, meal at, at a time. Bye-bye. Bye, you guys. Thanks so much for joining us. See you soon.